Hey there everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. Last time, we defeated Ludwig von the... Wow. We defeated Ludwig von Cooper and rescued the big blue paint star and did a dance. And yeah, that was pretty much it. This time, it's time to show off some bonus stuff. And our first step, of course, is back to Fort Cobalt, because... I feel like an idiot. I missed some colorless spots. Uh, but also, we have a lot of things. Number one, the big blue paint star painted in the Viola Passage, which must be our way forward into the next levels. We have the Rock Paper Wizard. We have quite a few letters, I'm pretty sure. And the museum will finish off the episode, of course. I have barely any paint cards, so... Let's hope I don't get into fights. Oh, hey, what's that? We can now defeat the Shy Guys with the Spike Helmets before they actually start a battle. Nice perk of rescuing the big blue paint star. Sniffets might be the same. These guys are back. I was wrong. Okay, wrong about multiple things. The Whistle Sniffets return. Ow! How did I miss this? How did I miss this? Oh my goodness, I feel so dumb! But with that, I think... That's a hun That's a hundred percent. The top right would have said so. But I don't see that. Yes! So we're back in poor Prisma, now that Fort Cobalt is 100% painted in. So let's start off going from right to left with our favourite ragtag group at our favourite hideout. It's Piper's gang up here. Those Goombas are still here, my goodness. Whoa, the gang's all here. Well, mostly here. Blue, I didn't know you were coming. Wow, it looks like we really are getting the band back together. And look, the tree's really growing fast. They're all toads, so of course they're all gonna ha have the same voice for me. What's up with Piper though? Sending out that letter and not even showing up himself? I guess I better keep it down just in case he shows up. He was usually pretty laid back, but when he got angry, look out! Remember the time we got ambushed by that gang of thugs? They all started making fun of Piper, saying his legs were short, his head big and I miss that. And Piper just laughed, and totally shrugged him off. But then, they came after me, saying, Why so blue, ya crybaby? Which really hit home, you know, since I'm a crybaby and all. So I start crying, and Piper starts gnashing his teeth and breathing heavy. Before I know what's going on, Piper jumps on one of them and swallows him whole! Piper had to lay low for a while after that, but those thugs never bothered us again, that's for sure. Um... That was certainly an interesting story about Piper swallowing someone whole. They're so casual about it. Well, down here, we have, of course, the Blue Rescue Squad, but... Excuse me, sir. I'd like to volunteer for the rescue squad. I'm small, but I'm fierce. Please. Sorry, kid. Rescue squatting is dangerous work, and we need everyone to pull their own weight. Go eat vegetables until you triple in size, and then come see me. Are you kidding me? So, he's... He's hanging on to that wall for dear life. Here we have... Some of the Blue Rescue Squad with some exercising toads and a cardboard box. I'm sure we will see more of them as time comes by. I'm never going to triple in size, which means I'll never be able to join the Rescue Squad. He, he's a bit mad, so let's, let's move on, shall we? What other news is going on in Port Prisma? Well, I think these toads are the front. Seem to be talking about something. Hey, did you hear about the train? Apparently it's been stuck near Kawano Temple for ages. What's the hold up? Problem with the tracks? What's this about a train? Hmm, uh, 
I kind of want to go see it. Well, in a little bit. First of all, we have a post office and a shop to visit. Because I'm going to spend a lot more coins. Because I have, I have barely any paint battle cards. But first of all, hey Mario, great timing. You've got new mail. Hello Mario. Thanks to you, we were finally able to have our long-awaited tea party at the hotel. With that completed, we're going to ascend to a higher plane of existence now. Internally yours, the Tea Party Toads. They did return for the dance party at the end. How nice. And here's another new letter for you. Exciting. Master Barrio, this is the Dark Blue Inn. We understand you found our purple floral teapot. The manager here has thrown his back out apologising to the patrons awaiting their tea party. It would be lovely if you could bring back the teapot you found back to our hotel as soon as possible. We've already done that. All good. Hey, uh, big bro. It's uh, Luigi again, the green plumber guy. Have you heard of this Rochambeau legend called the Rock Paper Wizard? I heard a rumor that if you beat him, you'll win a super rare card. I'd like to see it, so try to win it if you can. Remember, you can always reread ye old letters. That's awfully nice of those spooky toads to send you a thank you note like this. What's this in the top right hand side? But I wonder why they were so fussy about their tea party to begin with. You know, I'm going to take that hint that was showing. I think I could have just clicked the icon directly. But I'm going to open up the manual. What? Now the game manual is quite interesting. Now, I do actually recommend reading through this in your own time, of course, because there are some funny lines. But let's go right to the good stuff, the secret stuff. Spoiler alert! <coughs> let's see, this section contains spoilers and what the heck is a spoiler alert? Whatever. Anyway, first of all we have the Slurp Guys dance choreography. You see, when they were dancing in Ruddy Road and other various locations, they do this dance. Now you can copy them. Don't forget to slurp at the end. And then... Stop! Maybe you should get a few of these things, like the Kato Luck, which we do have. The story is Japan as viewed from abroad. And there's some interesting things, like... Moki and... Uh, robots and stuff. Anyway, the battery and megaphone we've yet to see and recorder, so let's let's not look at that. But we have the Hollow Peach, which uh, too long. Don't read. It was terrifying. It was sorcery, so that's why they settled on the current imp. Now, here's the interesting thing. Now that we have the b big blue paint stuff, did you s handle the puzzles at the end? Yes, we did many years ago. When the dark blue inn first opened, six toad friends made a promise, a sacred oath really, to have a tea party there. They checked into the inn the day before, intending to spend the night before their party began at 3pm the next day. But as it happens, the grandfather clock at the front desk broke. When the toads finally realised this, 3pm had long since passed. The six friends fell into a deep depression and as the years passed, their tea sipping aspirations remained unfulfilled. Exactly 200 years after the founding of the inn, the grandfather clock was repaired in commemoration. From the moment the clock once again began to mark the passage of time, mysterious phenomena started occurring within the hotel. Well, you know the end of that story, but what about P Petty Piranha? So when PC Piranha appeared out of a teapot all of a sudden, I bet you're wondering why he was in there, huh? It was all the doing of those two sniffets you'll find having tea in Plum Park. When they stole the teapot from the hotel, they also stuffed PT in there in place of a tea bag. When PT gets squeezed inside the teapot, he screams Glock, which roughly translates to hey, knock it off. Which is pretty reasonable, I guess. But that's all from the manual for now. Next up, the battle card shop. Because I, don't, I haven't done that yet. Now, let's show off what new cards are available. Shall we? Let's see. I don't think I'm going to have any cards to sell. But right now, we do have 
Um, now some of these might have been new and I didn't show them off. The tail. That's effectively the new card. And then maybe some of these big ones, which, again, um, they've been there since before the big paint star. I'm just not sure if I showed them off at all. In which case, here they are for you now. But there goes my money. We were at over nine. Now, we were at the max amount of money not too recently. As you can see, you can keep your money in check if you actually keep buying cards. Aside from that though, again, you don't need to buy cards. But, Port Prisma is done, at least for the time being. So let's head off to our next location, which is going to be the Kawano Temple? What? Skipping over. A Rochambeau temple? Why is that? Well, because we heard a little something about a train. Now if I head up here... What do you want? Sorry, I'm just ticked off about this situation with the tracks. This is a real soup sandwich. Who would do this? Who doesn't like trains? Good question. Anyway, I've got a passenger car back there full of hungry toads who've been waiting for too long. If I get my hands on a numbskull who destroyed my track... Gah! The kind of scum who would do this is beyond redemption. Don't you agree, Mario? Uh, uh, hey, whoa, well, I, I mean, let's not jump to conclusions, you know? Whoever did this might have had a perfectly valid reason. Like, maybe he just wanted to see what would happen if he smacked a rickety column with his hammer. What's done is done. The only thing we can do now is clean up the mess. Blue Rescue Squad leader at your service. And as you probably know by now, the Rescue Squads are a bit unorganised. I blame upper management. If you see any of my 23 Blue Squaddies in the yellow district of Port Prisma, please tell them to meet me here. Oh, well, uh, certainly. We ke we'll keep our eyes peeled, sir. And I hope everything gets sorted out with these tracks soon. Remember, deep breaths. So, we found out what the Blue Rescue Squad is going to help us do. Restore the tracks. Somehow. What's this? A Rescue Squad is actually doing a decent job? The Blue Rescue Squad is on point. So, we will... We'll call the Blue Rescue Squad in at a later time. But let's get into the main point that you guys have been waiting for. And hopefully, I don't know, it's it's pretty fun. It's downright annoying when luck is not on your side. It's Rochambeau. It is rock, paper, scissors. And the last round is always a one in three chance. Now, you know the rest of it, talk to toad number one. You like the peppery sound they make when they all rustle together. They don't like hard things. So they won't use rock. Got it. And number two? They're all soggy and flat. So I assume you're always going to use paper. In which case, let's use scissors. And let's use scissors. And let's go straight in. The rock paper wizard is in the building. It's time. The game of Rochambeau is a dark forest of self-doubt. Home to ravenous beasts that prey on your deepest fears and insecurities. With only three weapons at their disposal, are these warriors destined for glory or eternal embarrassment? This is the art of Rochambeau. And with that, com the competitors will take the stage. In this corner, the up and coming foreigner with lightning fast fingers, Mr. Mamma Mia himself, Mario. 
And in this corner, with ten hollow eyes, twenty wriggling limbs, and the self-esteem of half a Goomba, it's a Shy Guy Five Stack. Round one, Mario vs. Shy Guy Five Stack. Challengers, set your cards. Okay then, the hint was that you never use rock, I believe. So let's go right into it with scissors. But Mario! Here's your prize for making it through the first round. That's a lot of money. Your second round opponent approaches. As if he couldn't get any more miserable, he's the damp duelist, the clammy combatant, soggy shy guy. Round two, Mario vs. Soggy Guy. Challengers, draw your cards. Now you're too soggy to use anything that isn't paper. And oh my goodness, it's hard to keep the yeses rolling. Mario! Here's your prize for making it through the second round! Chance victories and here, the King of Rochambeau's true power will be unleashed upon the world. Rock Paper Wizard! Round 3, Mario vs Rock Paper Wizard! Challengers, set your cards! Well, I've had a good... I've had a good run. With scissors, but you're gonna read that, aren't you? You're gonna go rock. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna give you that backhand surprise attack of paper. Rock, paper, wizard, red fly attack! No! He's so clever! A again, it's just a one in three chance. But I'll get him next time. Which means I have to pay the upfront fee, which has now been increased to 300 coins. Oh no. See you back in round three. Here we go. Okay. I've learnt from my last move. I'm going to, I'm going to stick with what I've been using. It's been working so well. I haven't lost once with it today. Ooh, a tie! Challengers, back to your marks! You think I'm gonna change her? No, this card is my winning card. I'm gonna cut you down to size. Has defeated the rock paper wizard. Victory! You are our tournament champion. You'll be going home with a fat bag of coins and a brand new card. You got Ludwig. That's a wrap, folks. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. We did it! I'm always so excited when I manage to do that. However, congratulations! I once again have to show you that third round opponent. 
Which means I have a couple of one out of three chances of winning. Yay. So I'll show you guys off in the third round opponent. Mario, only one opponent stands in between you and eternal glory. He's a freaky cave dwelling loner with terrible posture. He can't be hammered or stomped. He's... Dund guy! Oh my goodness, let's take like that monstrosity in! Okay then. Well, it doesn't matter if we win or lose. Scissors has been going great so far, but... I know you say you, he can't be crushed or stomped, but... Put a paper or put a stone on him so he can't move, please. He should not... exist. Whoops. Sun guy has defeated me! But... That's okay. As long as we saw who he was. It's all good. So let's head to the world map. We have one last thing to take care of, and that is the museum. So I will see you in there and show off a very interesting thing, in fact. One interesting thing, quite literally, and I believe we unlocked some new artwork for donating cards recently. So Let's take a look at that, shall we? Right before I show off the thing of the day, by which I mean the thing of the big paint star cycle, we unlocked some new artwork. It's always very interesting taking a look in here. So let's see what we have this time. We have this set of pages, I believe it is. Yes, these are all new. First of all, the Crimson Tower, complete with airship. And Morton on three pedestals. We also have the Chosen Toads, which as you can see, do indeed spell out key. But one of them, they used to have cat ears and it, uh, a weird swelly thing. But then there is the Rescue Squad, which seems to have been just stars and a fold in the head, which I think is from Sticker Star, that fold in the head, that they brought back in Blue Bay Beach. Then the, the star on their banner, and then a little bit like Captain Toad with the headlamp. But they seem to settle on the scarves as the leaders pretty quick and whistles. Then there's Marmalade Valley, which definitely was a Dragodon fossil. But it looks like they didn't originally have the train track in the bottom right. Interesting, and no sign of the chomp either. Moving on to Kawano Temple. It's, uh, there's a door and spinies. Pretty set in stone, nothing too different. Lava rock. Now, under items, this is something we didn't see until recently. The Magma Burger, which is enough heat to tame a Dragodon, I think it was noted. We've got some HP ups, some battle card ups, and the hammer scraps seem to have actually changed how they've looked as well. That burger took a lot of different implementations. The yellow Colosseum and chariots in the bottom left, golden Colosseum, I think it was actually, some things in the, on the right. Nothing really has changed about that, aside from maybe chariot design. And lastly, Princess Peach's boat. Which, oh my goodness, that was a straight up luxury yacht at first. I, I like the old timey boat, like steam boat sort of thing. It's missing the wheel, but I like that way more than what's above. Oh man. Imagine Peach just going round in a billion dollar boat all the time. That'd be a bit weird. But it's time for the thing of the day. While I am visiting the ringer, I highly recommend 
picking up the fan if you do not have have it in your inventory as it will be necessary coming up shortly so as you can see the thing of the day is indeed a teapot which I somehow forgot to donate probably because I used it before I had the chance to donate it but let's test it out what exactly does the teapot do why I'm not too sure myself because I've never used it in battle but I can take a guess and that guess is crushing by the way I'm gonna mash the A button because what else do you do So it seems you don't mash it, you have to time it when it pours. But oh yeah, if tea has turned red hot, you can see how that would do some damage. And with that, I believe we have covered everything that there is, which means next time, it's time to move onwards to the Violet Passage. We're going on a journey. It's time to embrace your inner pirate. This has been Spiraling Helix. See you all next time, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>